say holy and they get a different revelation of his goodness they get a different revelation of wow i can't believe i'm just seeing this grand magnificence mm. in front of our face and this is what we have to put our minds on because praise is serious worship is warfare yeah. and we are on call we are on duty we are at arms we are at arms and so we have to realize that we're down here Demons are ever present. That game to me yesterday was not a game for real. Oh. That game to me was a was, was was a lesson. That game was a thing where that I would like this business here so I can stand before you. <laughs> that game was not a game. That game we were standing and, and, and the enemy was talking and the enemy was in our ears. I couldn't hear my, my queen because the enemy was like so loud and at times. Mm -hmm. We are loud and receiving that loud voice, but that's still small voice. We have to be tuned in, we have to be tapped in. Mm -hmm. How we tap in is that I surrender. Thank you, Abba. Come on. I want to thank, thank you. you. Thank so good, Abba. Thank you. I want to thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you. 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 Thank
pizzas. Mm -hmm. You can try it. Mm -hmm. This one and that one. It doesn't have any cheese, just tomato sauce and peppers. And then this is just cheese pizza. There's pepperoni pizza. There's meat lovers pizza, which has barbecue chicken, regular chicken, and pepperoni and onions on it. Hallelujah. And then there's barbecue chicken pizza, which is in the middle here. And another cheese pizza. And then this one at the end, it has cheese on it and vegetables. And there's another cheese pizza. So. And, and what kind of pepperoni is that? Turkey. Pork. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> it's We're turkey. about to leave. <laughs> We're about to leave. It's, it's, it's turkey pepperoni. <laughs> Thank him for his preservation. All praises. And you shall love Yahuwah Elohim with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. Mm -hmm. And these words which I command you. I want to thank you. Hallelujah. I want to thank you. Uh, this is House of Yehuda, Yehuda Ban Yeshaval. Um, the highlight of this feast for me was the, the Ahava that um, that was presented uh, through the Ruach HaKadosh, the genuineness of of our Mishpaka, um, the the uh, the courteousness and the the uh, what do you call it hospitality hospitality um it, it, it just took me to a whole nother level i i came with expectation um i received healing i received deliverance i was baptized immersed and in, in, in yasharal um it, it caused my isha to be better we're better people now um, i'm grateful for the house of moshe and and being here on the remnant it, it it's preparing me for my land and I'm grateful to now be a, a part of, of this Mishpaka and for each person from the house of Moshe has had an impact on our lives and, and we're looking forward to revisiting next year and halal ya or praises unto the most high ya shalom my favorite part of the feast is and to be around Mishpaka and being in person and not on video and just getting to love on them and hug on them and feeling their energies in person. But overall, I had a blast. Shalom. Um, just to recap, you know what we experienced here um, at the Remnant. We experienced Yah. To be honest, we experienced family. Um, we experienced a lot of togetherness. Opening things that needed to be open and closing wounds that needed to be closing. A lot of healing. And a lot of love. You know, so that's what I'm going to take away from my time and my experience here. And I just want to say I love all my brothers I love my Akiyam, I love my Akotis, um, and I love my time that I had here at the room. Allow y'all. Shalom, I praise Yah for inviting the House of Benia to his Pesach Unleavened Bread and First Fruits Feast. We had a wonderful, blessed Barak time at the Remnant. We can't thank you enough for your wonderful hospitality and I have a, um, my experience here at the Remnant was a unforgettable, life-changing experience. I can honestly say I have been delivered and hallelujah to that. Um, I think that was my favorite highlight of uh, this feast is and joyous um, part of the feast is being delivered. We had wonderful praise and worship with everyone. Um, we 
praised Yah to the highest of high. Hallelujah. And I pray that everyone's uh, prayers will be answered. I pray that those who did get delivered continues to walk out their deliverance. I can just say so much, but overall, we had a, um, a joyous time in Yah. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom. This is House of Yamir. Uh, we just got done celebrating Passover and the Feast of Eleven Bread, and it has been a blessing. Uh, it has just shown me a lot culturally on how we're supposed to function as Hebrew Israelites in these end times. And I couldn't thank the family more than uh, just a lot for the hospitality. And um, to continue moving forward in what we're supposed to be doing as Hebrew Israelites in these end times. Shalom, shalom, and barakah to all of you who are watching this video. Hallelujah. Peace. Shalom. We just got finished celebrating Passover, Feast of Unleavened Bread, and First Fruits. This is the first time I've actually done it in a camping and really family-oriented setting. It has been a blessing. There has been tough conversations. I was basically challenged mentally, physically, spiritually, and it was absolutely worth it. Um, I can't wait for next year. I've missed you guys already, and I love you guys. Shalom. Shalom, shalom. Shalom to Ezra Man, Yashara here. Um, the best part of my of this feast of Passover and Unleavened Bread was getting together. Um, we've been talking about this for a while, and it's it's, it's amazing. So, if you, if you will, we can pan over here real quick, right? Actually, I didn't have that. The year before that, I didn't have it. Right? We prayed for this. We asked for this. And the best part of the feast is this, coming together with your family with the, with the Mishpachah. Right? Um, man, there was so much like the deliverance, the immersions, the, the, the lessons. You know, we were given three fire lessons within the first. It felt like we've been here all week. We're just, we in the at the first day of Unleavened Bread. It's been beautiful. I told our Rabbi to the Remnant fan for allowing me to come here and dwell with them and their family as Yasharal, and we are here. And with that being said, Shalom, Shalom, once a Howard. Shalom, family. Um, my recap of the feast was um, this how the rock moved um, throughing out the feast of how um, it touched even every one of us, how the fire. And um, this, our living soul, was this embedded with each other, the Mishraka, um, the Ahava, the love. And um, I just thank the Father for all the family, um, getting home safe, and being here as well. And let's reach up with my feast for the year of my home. I just praise the Most High for everything that took place. Um, all my favorite highlights is what every lesson, every rebuke, every deliverance that took place. I'm glad the freedom my sisters got. I'm glad um, to see the most high in me through other people uh, and how the mirror was faced back on me on some things I need to correct and some things that I've grown from and I appreciate the most high because many times I've asked what are my fruits what are my fruits and the most high showed me through my sister what my fruits are so I praise him for that I praise him for the ahava that I was able to develop for each and every one of them for it's not the same love you can develop over a screen. It's different when you meet them in person. So I love you all. Um, this has been the best feast yet. I know there's better to come, but this one is the one I can't forget. Um, we didn't stop praising Yah through the trial of the Fasa time. We tried it. Um, but you didn't succeed. The weapon was born, but it didn't prosper. So, hello, y'all, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, enjoyed it if it's already been watched, and I pray the Most High grows the remnant with more and more people yearning for the Most High. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. My favorite part of the feast this Passover has to be the praise and worship and deliverance that took place. The Most High was moving. All the saints came ready to receive, ready to be free. You can even hear my voice is raspy. 
because we've been praising the Most High, Yah. Um, I pray that we can continue to do so and we can continue to take advantage of the Most High's weekly feast into his Passover, into Feast on Leavened Bread, and of course, First Fruits. Look forward to seeing you all at Pentecost. Shalom, shalom. Praise the Most High, Yah, for his feast and the invitation to another feast. And I'm so thankful for the Mishpacha that Yah is pulling together. Um, there was so much Ahava shown during this feast, and it was shown through how we interacted with one another and how we praise the Most High. Um, loved waking up to our op singing and worshiping the Father, and he would get us all coming out of our tents just praising the Most High. Um, the praise and worship that we did together, the prayer time that the sisters did, just going before Yah, and then just the fellowship. So there's so much of this feast that um, I'm so grateful for, and the Most High was so gracious um, with what he imparted with us um, during his feast. So all praises to the Most High Yah. I look forward to another invitation for Yah's feast and getting together with Yah's Mishpika. And um, just thank Yah for just showing us once again how to serve him better, how to serve one another as Yashrael, the upright in Yah. And I truly saw that this feast, we served Yah, we served one another, and his Ahava was present. Hallelujah. Praise your name, we're chosen and we're his.